Yes. This is what we, not celebrating, I will say we are meditating. Today we are meditating deeply. We are meditating today on what happened on the 16th June 1976. Now stop! Stop right there! This is an illegal gathering. I'm giving you three minutes to disperse. Go home! Go home! I'm warning you! Is it clear, family? Okay. Ingeta. Ingeta. Soweto, under fire. The country's largest township had a dark cloud hovering over it. June 16, 1976, presented a new form of resistance towards the Africans' language policy, introduced under the Bantu education in 1953 under the then apartheid government. It was under Bantu education that the then apartheid government spent 644 rands on a white child's education as opposed to a mere 42 rands on a black child's education. It was such inequalities, coupled with the Afrikaans language, being enforced on black students that led to a revolt. On that fateful day of June the 16th, what was supposed to be a peaceful protest by black students against the African's language policy turned ugly. Police fired a thousands of protesting students, killing 176 of them and leaving thousands injured. It was such inequalities fought by the youth and political movements that paved the way to a new political dawn in South Africa.
يلا 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 As we say, today is a very important day. It's an important day that side, as you already mentioned, and this side as well. And this is for us to connect the dates, June 16th, 16. So that side, they finished one thing, but this side, something was still happening. And this will lead us on our conversation of today. You know, today, as we say, June 16, 1974, June 16, 2024. So today, dear family, we meditate deeply on our children, the African children, the South African children. Right now, here in Africa, we're celebrating Day of the African Children. This celebration comes with a purpose for us to stop, think, and meditate deeply on how we should protect and honor our children as well. The children they have right and they have the obligation as well. But today, we are busy meditating on the duty we have toward our children. The Day of African Child Family was instituted in 1971 by the Assembly of Heads of State and Government of the African Union in memory of the 16th of June, 1976, in which student uprising happened in Soweto, South Africa. You know, this band to kids, uh, start, I'll stop the presentation, this band to kids on June, remember South Africa was under apartheid, apartheid regime, right? In which the education system was in Africans, you know, they were ex excluded from their Bantu language and they were being taught in a foreign language. You know, the Bible says, strange people shall come and invade your land and you will speak a strange language in which you do not understand. So that is the language that was introduced to South Africa and uh, Africans was, was like, was, was that, for, what, that was foreign language. At least if they introduce Kikongo, they would understand because African language are related, all right? And Kikongo Zulu means heaven. In Isi Zulu, South African language, Zulu also means heaven. At least they would understand, but it was a total foreign language, Africans. So the student, this language was, was introduced, but the, the student, they could not keep up with this language. And they were failing at school, so they decided to protest. They came out on, in the street, thousands of children in the street, to protect, to protest against the apartheid, you know, regime. And uh, what what we showed, this is what just happened, All right? Man, this is what happened. Just as you see on, on, on the, just as you see here on the video, the kids came out and uh, the apartheid regime government, they decided to send the army, not police, and they send everything, police, army, everything. And uh, <laughs> I don't know, but I believe the devil was the command in chief. 
and say, attack, kill. No, the devil gave the order for, for the military, as you see the militaries are there, to shoot the kids. And they started to shoot the kids, just as you saw on the previous uh, video. You know, just as you saw in this video here. You know, they, they shoot. Shoot straight. A lot of kids, they lost their lives. You know, this happened. There is a movie even based... This, this image is from a movie they made out of this, this story, you know. So this story is real. I was there in this museum, uh, uh, Petersen. The museum is there in Soweto. I was there. So this is basically what happened. In June 16, 1974, all right? And because we say that uh, what happened in the land is part of us. For us, the Turkist, the African history belongs to us. We don't separate history from the Bible. No, all is connected. Everything is connected. We don't separate. You can tell me, forget what happened in the past. Let's preach love and stuff. No, no, no. We connect both. Why? Because everything is history. Does it make sense, family? When one person responds, does it make sense, family? Maybe I'm wrong. Please tell me. Ingeta. 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 You know, in the sermon, in the sermon, before the church in the pulpit, you cannot, nobody can tell us, don't, don't say about these things because we're in the church or somewhere and stuff, but just speak about the Bible. Wait, well, wait, I mean, nobody, suppose I'm in the pulpit and I'll speak about these things. Nobody can stop us and say, don't, don't, don't say these things. Otherwise, you will provocate people. Just preach what is in the Bible. Well, our story is, is the Bible. That's right. What, what happened to us is the Bible. That's yes. why the killing also is here. The killing, the shooting, everything is there. That's why we say this is our book. Don't throw it away. This is us. This, this is our history. And if you read this thing, this book, and if you compare the video we just we saw, there's no difference. Uh, maybe you can tell me, Elder Makailo, is there a difference? I don't see any. <laughs> How about you? No difference. No difference. No difference. I don't see no difference, family. Because everything is repeating itself from yes. past this day. Mm -hmm. From yes. past yes. till this day. Everything is repeating itself, you know. And, uh, Mr. Joshua, do you have your Bible with you? Sister Johnson, Johnson, excuse me, that's an English name I can't pronounce properly, sorry. <laughs> do you have your Bible with you? Sister Chandre, do you have your Bible? Close, close to you? I do. All right. Can we just go for in Revelation 7? All right. And then we will go to our message. Revelation 7, 9 to 17. We can read it slowly. Revelation 7, 9 through what now? So Revelation 7, verse 9 to verse mm -hmm. 17. You can read okay. slowly, please. Let's go slowly. Okay. After this, I beheld. Excuse me. And lo, this is for us to understand what, what happened today in June 16th. You know, sometimes we ask, why we suffer a lot? Why? Well, Captain Zambia doesn't make a mistake. Everything that's happened, happened for a purpose. And Elder Makailu said, the history repeat itself. Yes, you can go, please, sister. Okay. After this, I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, 
which no man could number, and all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne, and before the Lamb clothed with, with white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Messiah to our well, see, mine is, uh, I have the C for virgin. Just let me know. So I'll, can I read it the way it's yes. here? Yeah. Okay. All right. And cried a loud voice saying, Yeshua to our uh, Yahuwah, which sits upon the throne and, uh, and unto the lamb. And all of the angels stood around about and throne, the throne and about the elders and the four living creatures and fell before the throne on their faces and worshiped Yah, saying, Amen, blessings and glory and the wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and the might, but until our Yah forever and ever, amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, what are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, you know, uh, and he said to me, they are they. Wait, which sir. Came. Just mm -hmm. a second, please. They ask, okay. who are those people? It didn't respond. It, it, you know, it did not say, you know, because it didn't know. It was like, sir, you know, I don't need to tell you that <laughs> who these people are. You know who these people are. Yes. Okay. And I said unto him, sir, you know, and he said to me, these are they which came out of the great tribulation and has washed the robes and made uh, them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of Yahuwah and serve him day and night. I'm sorry, someone keeps trying to call. I'm sorry. No problem. Where was I? Verse 15. Uh, Okay, therefore are they behold the throne of Yahuwah and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sits on the throne shall dwell among them. Can you guys hear me? I'm sorry. Yes. Someone keeps trying to call me. I'm so sorry. It said, they shall hunger and no more, neither thirst anymore, neither shall the sun light on them nor any heat for the lamb which is in their midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters and Yahuwah shall wipe away all tears from their eyes mm -hmm. This is for us to, to, to keep on moving despite of what we just we have seen, despite this event. All right, the scripture we read in complement um, on the promise that is has given to us. When you look to your story, when we look to our story. <laughs> The question we ask, but how long? How long? But there is one who hear your prayers and my prayers every time. Every 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 time we we cry out and we ask that that question, and our ancestors they also ask the same question. You know the the message we will be reading will tell us this. <music> Thank you.